All right, Jeffrey, good afternoon. This is Mark Lopez. I'm going to walk you through 74 Bushman in Ponce Inlet. I just stepped in the front doors here, double doors. This wall, uh, the realtor said, is not load-bearing, so it could come down if you wanted to take it down. And you go to the left, and here's the great room. All carpeted, needs to be replaced swinging around to the breakfast area. She said, not many of these walls are load bearing, so you could take these little things down, this knee wall. I would call this maybe a breakfast area from the kitchen. Across from it is the formal dining room, again, with some more removable stuff. She, she said you could raise the ceiling in the kitchen. There's two lights, one skylight there and then two fluorescents, microwave on a shelf, older cabinets, obviously, electric range, old dishwasher, not sure it works, double sink, overhead cabinets, and laminate countertops, pumpkin colored, and across from that, a little coffee bar with more cabinets, stainless steel fridge, leads into the laundry room, and also where the air handler is and the water heater, which is new. Air handlers, brand new, one of them. And then there's your electrical panel. Washer and dryer does convey. And then right off the kitchen is the garage. Two car garage with some overhead storage. And you can hear the air conditioning running. This one's brand new. And the yard, see the neighbors, goes back about one third of an acre. Show you some more of that when I go outside. Back in through the kitchen, there's a small hallway, pantry of course there. And then there's a full bath right off the kitchen. And this hallway leads to like a bonus room no closet in this one, so it couldn't really be counted as a bedroom unless you put a closet in it. Tile floor, though. It's newer on this side. Continue down the hall, and you come to the primary suite. Has a bonus room off of it. And then it's really, really large. A couple of windows carpeted again. And you have the closet. Wire shelves need replacing. Basically a lot of updating. And you have the primary bath with a pool-like tub, the commode, the shower, single sink, and storage. And we go back out. Now we can't get through that double door. So we'll go around through the living room to the other side, you see there's two entrances to this hallway where the other bedrooms are, there and there. Wood burning fireplace, brick. And you come to the left in the short hallway and you have a full ensuite, you would call it, with a shower, sink, commode, and the bedroom closet. So looking down the hallway, we'll see Three or four more bedrooms here. There's one, good size rooms. They're all bigger than your standard nowadays, 10 by 10s. And then a bath with access to the outside. Actually has two showers in it. One just a stand-up shower, one sink. Then you have a full tub with a shower. Wallpapered, door leads to the outside. And the lot is just on the other side of that tree. The lot line goes back. This would be where you would put a walkway maybe to a pool in the back. And use this partly as a pool bath. And back out the bathroom. You can see this shelving going into the living room. And there are two more rooms here. 
both bedrooms, good size, closet doors, and a front spare bedroom, closet, carpeted, the windows. The windows, the previous buyers that fell out of contract, Jeffrey had a contractor come in to replace all the doors and windows because they're not wind rated. So they had a bid for that, $56,000 was the price. And that would help for insurance. And off the great room is another bonus room. It could be a nice pool room. Put your summer kitchen over here, leads to the backyard. And goes through the lot line, she was saying is at the end of the neighbor's fence here about there's some land behind it that the city of Ponce Inlet owns and it'll never be built on, kind of a buffer. It's part of the fisherman's village, but you can see the end of that fence there. So the property line would run parallel across that behind these trees, big old oak trees, big canopies on them. And that's basically it. I'll send you a link and send you the pictures. We'll talk some more. Thanks.